As a new medical school, we have an opportunity to build something new, special, and innovative. And in order to reach that potential, we need diversity of thought and ideas. A lot of times when people think of diversity, it's, they were just thinking in terms of gender, race, and ethnicity, but also the invisible qualities that each of us bring and that make us unique. The School of Medicine is doing a number of things to promote diversity. We are building a learning environment that values collaboration and respect, inclusivity, teamwork, and innovation. And all of those things require varying perspectives. On August 11th, the Dean did his first annual address on the state of the School of Medicine, and a big part of that address was addressing the importance of inclusion and diversity for the entire medical school community. Having outside speakers uh, who have uh, experience in and related to diversity and inclusion is important because it shows the students, it shows the faculty what is possible. They hear from experience and take some of those lessons and embrace them and implement them here at the Metter School. Diversity is important in a medical school environment because it increases our individual and collective capacity to care for all patients. When we are able to learn from each other, our experiences, our differences, that makes us more aware of patients' needs, where they come from, and creates an opportunity for us to provide not just culturally competent care, but culturally relevant care. The banner that everyone is signing, it contains the commitment of the university to diversity and by signing it we're acknowledging that everyone plays a role in ensuring that we have a sort of a diverse and inclusive environment. Having diversity in the Frank H. Schneider School of Medicine is really vital to being able to flourish as a community, as individuals. It's a very open and welcoming environment and I think that allows us all to learn and understand in a different level. Having such an environment gives you a place where stereotypes are challenged and also cultural competency is built. And I think these two principles are very important in producing physicians that provide adequate care for patients um, regardless of your cultural background or financial status. I don't believe we'll be an excellent institution without a diverse faculty, diverse students, and an inclusive body of students, faculty, and staff.